guys, how are you doing? I hope all is well. Um, somebody asked me if I could please do a video showing how to download a LOL doll file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to type in LOL dolls PNG. And I'm going to go ahead and click on an image. It's going to show me a bunch of different images here of LOL dolls. So I'm going to click on this one that says transparent LOL doll image. And let's see where it takes us. It's going to take us to this PNG key. And we can actually uh, move files over. I've already moved a couple. I moved this one over. And I think I moved her over as well. Let's see if we want a different LOL on there. We want her. And this one right here. Um, this LOL doll doll. And I'm moving over a few, and I will show you why I'm moving over a couple of them. So go ahead and put them on there. I don't know the names of all of them, but we will see right now when we put them together. Uh, let me put her over as well. So now we have a bunch of them, and as you can see, they're not saved as PNG files. They're saved as JPEGs, but we are going to put them on Cricut Design Space, and we're going to actually clean them up. So we're going to upload an image, and let's say we upload this one. We put complex. Then it comes in here, and you may see how it doesn't show us the checkers that we normally have. So we're going to have to go ahead and clean that image up. So this little select and erase is usually selected. So we're going to go ahead and click on it, and it cleaned it up perfectly for us. If we see any spaces that are white, like we can see right here, then we would go ahead and click that. So that way when it cuts it, it's going to cut around that and not that white image. We can check on our image by clicking continue and this will show us how it's going to cut it. So we're going to put this one, I think this one is a Queen B, if I'm not mistaken. And so we're going to put LOL, LOL dolls. Um, and those will be my tags for it. Let me go ahead and save that one. And then I'm going to upload another one, and we're going to upload this one, complex. We're going to clean it up again. Do we see any white spaces we don't need? And it's going to cut it around there. I'm not sure what this one's called, but I'm going to put a uh, queen of hearts. And put LOL, LOL dolls. I'm going to save that one, and then we'll put another one in, let's put this one in, complex, put it in, we'll clean it up, and you see how it has these white spaces right here on the crown, we're going to go ahead and clean those up, and then we can hit continue. We missed a space right here, so we're going to push, uh, go back, and we're actually going to clean up that space. Continue. Looks like we're having a little bit of trouble on Cricut Design Space, so let's go ahead and clean it up again and see if it'll upload it. There it is. And we're going to put um, Hello Well Doll. I'm just going to leave it as LOL doll because I don't know the names of it, of every single LOL doll. And so we kind of get the idea when we're uploading them. I'm going to upload one more just so we could um, see this, what I'm going to do. I'm going to select them all and flatten them so it puts them in as a group. Um, and we're going to, I guess it has a name in it right here at the end. I didn't even see that. So her name is Midnight, and we're going to go ahead and put her on there. And we'll put one more just for good measure. Oh, it wasn't saved, so we'll try it again in a minute. Let's go ahead and continue. Clean up any white spaces that we see that don't belong. Okay. Orange hair looks. So 
so we'll put orange as her name. I'm not sure if that's her name or not. It looks like we missed another little tiny space right here, but that's such a small space that you kind of almost want it just to print it together because it would be a really, really tiny sliver. So we're going to save that one. And then we are going to upload all the images onto there. So we're going to select this one, this one, this one. Now we're going to arrange them in any way that we want. So I want them to be on a shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and stack them up, resize them. Make them kind of look like they're holding hands. Put her at the end because her little hands are open. And then you can make them all go together and not move by selecting them all and hit, hitting the flatten button right here. So now it's going to have them be one image. And you could always unflatten if you needed to fix something, resize to resize them or whatnot so you can have them be bigger touching holding hands or whatnot and then you can flatten them all together again and they will print as one image so Cricut Design Space will cut around one image see this face will be cut out and my daughter actually woke up and she told me the names of the lol dolls so let's go ahead and put those. Um, what was this one Queen again? Queen Bee. Queen Bee. Center Stage. Center Stage. Lux. Lux. Um, Curious Cutie and Midnight. And Midnight. Okay, perfect. Then we'll go ahead and click Make It. And it'll make it as an image. We will first send it to our printer. And the printer will cut these registration, we'll print these registration marks, sorry. And then we'll put it in our Cricut machine. And our Cricut machine will actually cut around and cut these images for us. And that's pretty much it, how you would do LOL dolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.